Welcome to Course Navigation Tips for Jero Nurse Prep. This is the homepage of JeroNursePrep.com. Click the Login button. Enter your email address and password. If you've forgotten your password, you can click on Forgot Password to reset it. Click Sign In. When you log in to JeroNurse Prep, you will land on the My Account page. Your progress in the course is updated, so when you log in, you get an instant look at the number of activities you have completed, how many activities are incomplete, and your total progress in the course presented as a percentage. The days remaining section will keep you informed of how many days you have left to complete the course. The countdown begins at 365 days. To the right of the progress section, you will find your contact information. Please make sure your information is correct and up to date. Also of note in this section is the book tracking code. Click this link to track your textbook shipment. Now we'll look at the menu items found on the left side of the My Account page. Edit Profile. On this page, you can update your personal and employer information anytime. Course Progress. Visit this page for a full view of the status of important sections of the course. The columns will direct you to the module subsection and type of activity, tell you if the activity is mandatory or not, your completion status, and a link to view the activity. Click Reset Password anytime you'd like to change your password. Enter the new password, confirm the password, and click Reset Password. Visit the important notifications section for any Jero Nurse Prep updates from faculty. Click Continue to Course. This is the course homepage. Click this button for a description of the content covered in the 10 modules and four milestones. Click on this button to view all required ANCC continuing education disclosures and disclaimers. Click the Get Started button to access the content. This is the course landing page. At the top of the page, you'll find contact information for the Jero Nurse Prep or GNP Support Center. As you can see, there are a few ways to contact us. Don't hesitate to reach out with any question. On the top right, you'll find the Lesson Essays Feedback. Here you can access your finished activities. Beneath Lesson Essays Feedback is the Course Completion Status. This provides you with a progress overview. Click here for a more detailed view of your progress. Your progress for the modules can be found here. The course consists of an introduction, 10 learning modules, 4 milestones, and an end of course activities section. Although you are free to complete the modules in any order, GNP was designed for completion sequentially. The introduction familiarizes you with the materials and format of GNP. A comprehensive pretest is given to assess your base knowledge. Module 1 discusses wellness and aging statistics, cultural considerations that you should be aware of, the theories of aging related to the older adult, and professional standards of care. Module 2 provides you with tips for nursing leadership. The basics of health promotion theory and healthcare settings, services, and healthcare system policies are explored. Module 3 reviews legality and ethics, abuse and neglect, psychosocial function, disability and mental health, and substance abuse issues related to the care of the older adult. In the first of four milestones, you'll learn about the application process to sit for the ANCC certification exam. Module 4 provides the skills needed to properly perform comprehensive health assessments of older adults, nursing assessment and interventions related to the cardiovascular, respiratory, and immune systems are reviewed. Module 5 discusses aging and implications for drug therapy in the older adult. You will interpret key lab values that change as adults age. Pharmacological and non-pharmacological interventions to manage pain are provided. In the second milestone of the course, you will learn a variety of test-taking strategies and tips 
that will increase your skill and boost your confidence during standardized testing. Module 6 looks at age-related changes that affect hearing and vision, physiological changes that affect cognitive function, pathophysiological changes that lead to fall risk, and methods to account for safety and mobility of the older adult. Module 7 delves into the care of skin in older adults, the changes in the sleep cycle and thermoregulation system, and how these affect wellness and health in older adults are reviewed. The third milestone gives you the opportunity to apply the tips and strategies learned in Milestone 2 by taking a 50-question practice test provided by the ANCC. You can practice as much as you like. Module 8 explores age-related changes and conditions in the digestive system and reviews the nutritional needs of the older adult. You will also learn about changes in the urinary and endocrine systems and sexual functions as one ages. Module 9 highlights your role in providing holistic care for older adults. The importance of end-of-life changes is studied. A foundation for the basics of nursing research will be provided. The fourth and final milestone is a 75-question practice test provided by the ANCC. At the end of this practice test, the correct answers will be provided. Module 10 provides the signs, symptoms, and prevention of delirium and depression in older adults. Physiological, cognitive, and social changes related to dementia are explored. Methods to distinguish between delirium, depression, and dementia are provided. The end of course activity section is a wrap up of all the course learnings. We will go over this section in greater detail later. The first section to complete in the course is the introduction. Click the arrow in the jump to box to move to any of the pages, modules, and milestones in the course. This box is available when you are in any of the modules or milestones and is a quick way to move about the course. The introduction to the course contains several sections. Review the material in each to familiarize yourself with items such as course format, course completion requirements, and success tips. At the bottom of the introduction page, you will find the to-do section. Click on introduce yourself to provide an introduction of yourself. This is a great opportunity to connect with other students who are also working towards certification, so be sure to check out the introductions from other students. Next, you will complete the comprehensive pretest. Completion of the pretest is required in order to view any of the module learning materials and activities. However, no minimum score is required. Once you've completed the pretest, click on the arrow by the next section to move on. Each module is laid out the same, beginning with instructions, a module outline, several subsections, a post test, and a discussion board. To view the module outline, click on the link that corresponds with your textbook edition. The outline can be printed or saved for future reference. Each column provides the text readings and other information that will be presented in each of the module subsections. Click the Return to Module button. All module subsections include learning materials and learning activities. Click on the link to be taken to the learning materials in the first subsection. The learning materials pages are set up the same. Begin with reading the learning objectives to help you focus. Next is text readings. The readings are provided for each edition of the text. Read only the pages assigned for your edition. These were selected specifically to prepare you for the materials tested by the ANCC. The Additional Resources section contains other materials to supplement the assigned readings. Read only what it tells you to focus on. Many modules also contain a review presentation, which is also in printable form. The section below, the optional review materials, contains supplementary material not required for course completion, but contain interesting information that you might find helpful for your practice. When you have completed the learning materials, click the button to return to the module, or you may also click the breadcrumb trail at the top. After you have completed the learning materials in a subsection, click on the box to the right of the screen. A check mark will appear. Doing so will allow you to track your progress in the course. 
Most subsections contain learning activities. Click the link to access the learning activity. Learning activities will be marked as complete automatically upon successful completion. Follow the same steps for each of the module subsections. Each module has a post-test at the end. Click the link to open the post-test. You must score a 90% or higher to pass. You will be given a chance to review your answers after you have completed the post-test. We encourage you to visit each module's discussion board. This is a great opportunity to learn from and share information with other students and faculty. Click the arrow to move to the next section of the course. Complete all 10 modules and all four milestones. Click on End of Course Activities. Read the instructions on how to retrieve your certificate of completion. This certificate contains your continuing education contact hours. Click on the link to complete the comprehensive end of course exam. You must score a 90% or higher to pass. Multiple attempts are allowed, but keep in mind, only your most recent score is saved. Successful completion of the end of course exam will unlock the evaluation surveys. Both evaluations must be completed to unlock your certificate of completion. Take advantage of the test simulator to practice for the certification exam. We encourage you to visit the end of course forum to share your course experiences, learn from other students' testing experiences, and come back to share your testing success. We look forward to celebrating your success. Click the link to open your certificate of completion. We have no doubt you will be proud to put this on display. Be sure to print or save a copy of your certificate for your records. Good luck, have fun, and remember, you can contact us at any time if you need help.